Thanks, Cathy. Well, speaking of bull, um, it looks like beef. It cooks like beef. But according to those who tried it, it doesn't taste like it. Some work to do, then, on the world's first burger grown entirely in a lab. Its creator, Professor Mark Post, declared the £250,000 burger a very good start, as he aims to find a solution to the demands for meat from a growing population. In a moment, the chef, Yosam Otolenghi, will give us his views. First, here's our science editor, Tom Clark. The lid is lifted on the world's first lab-grown beef burger. Moments later, it's out of the petri dish and into the pan. All this in front of a live studio audience, most of them invited journalists. Produced exclusively from muscle stem cells from cows, the burger cost £250,000 to make. The question on everybody's lips... Does it taste anything like beef? There's quite some intense taste. It's close to meat. It's not that juicy. So not exactly a yes or a no. And as no one from the audience was allowed to independently verify the burger's flavour, we still don't know the answer. But at this stage in the research, it's not that important, says its creator. Well, I think it's a very good start. Um, and again, this was mostly to prove that we can do this, that we can make it. Their goal is to create cultured animal tissue to provide a more ethical and sustainable source of meat as our increasing population demands it. The researchers argue cultured beef uses 45% less energy to make than the average farmed cow. It also produces 96% fewer greenhouse gas emissions and requires 99% less land than cattle farming. But they admit until it's mass produced they won't really know if those numbers add up. We're a long, long way from being able to mass produce it. We haven't got the technology to manufacture it. I think we will need um, several step changes innovation to get both to be able to manufacture 3D tissues. At the moment, we can only make these meat slithers, as they called them, uh, about half a millimetre thick. Now, clearly, something like a ribeye steak is much, much thicker than that. A real burger's got muscle in it, but also fat and other tissues like collagen and essential nutrients like iron from the blood supply of the animal it came from. Lab-grown beef has got none of those things, so could it ever compete with the real thing? When we make a burger, even though we use cuts that work a little bit harder, have a bit more flavour, chopped up finer, we add tenderer cuts to that as well to give it the flavour. It's, it's, it's a science to get a decent burger. If it's that far from reality, what's with the super slick daytime TV style product launch? Can you tell me who funds your research and this not inexpensive launch event you've had for the, uh, <laughs> for the burger that you've cooked today? Right. Now, we were uh, very happy to, be, um, uh, to have been funded by Sergey Brin. That's right, the multi billionaire Google founder. His vision of the future may look a little unappetizing. But who knows, cultured meat could help us through some lean times in future.